Hey folks, how you doing today? It's been a heck of a day for me. Uh, been working on fixing one of the vehicles on my day off. Um, it's been a while, so thought we'd just have a, a quick chat, catch up. I'm way behind on watering orchids, so trying to fertilize when I can. Um, it's been a little while. Came out and some of my orchids were knocked over. I'm not sure if it was the wind or if it was a creature, but um, just dealing with that. Got a lot of stuff going on in the garden. Work has been well, hectic's not even the word for it. Um, <laughs> it's been it's been something, but trying to stay positive and not complain and sometimes that's really difficult so trying to do something that is a little a little bit cathartic for me um, water my plants give them a little food at this point I've got pretty much all of the orchids out here I'll show you quick hey, everybody out on the porch it's uh quite a few um, just trying to keep my head above water really these days um, So, I guess uh, this year, since I've got quite a few genera that I have not grown in the past, it's going to be a matter of balancing the, the light and the water and the nutrients and things like that. Um, normally I would soak most of my plants, but our, our humidity gets kind of high around here. I'm trying to make sure that everybody has a chance to dry out a little bit in between. Um, I kind of stayed away from fertilizing for a couple of weeks, just uh, give everybody a chance to um, get a good flush so we don't get a buildup of salts in the medium. Yeah. And I'm going to go back to my half orchid fertilizer. It's what I usually do. Um, since these guys are actively growing. <laughs> trying to... Uh, Trying to stay regular with the posting, it's uh, it's exceptionally difficult right now. Um, with everything that's going on at work and at home, I've got some gardening to do, uh, a bunch of seedlings that I need to get planted. I moved a big fence out in the backyard. I get much better sun in the backyard and uh, that's what I'm going to need for this garden uh, for my food plants but it's also where I keep my chickens and if you've got chickens you know that you cannot have food crops anywhere near them they will eat anything and everything um, chickens are not supposed to have um, any anything really in the Solanaceae family, so uh, eggplants, tomatoes, potatoes, uh, all of it. They're they're not supposed to be near that stuff. And a couple years ago, I had some tomato plants and thought, you know, anybody that's grown tomatoes, you know that there's kind of a it's kind of a, a sticky sap on their leaves. 
pretty smelly stuff, and I didn't think that they would have any interest. Boy, was I wrong. They plucked every green tomato, every leaf. It was really just a pile of sticks sticking out of the ground uh, that year. So, uh, I needed to put something out there for uh, the plants, keep the chickens out of them. So we had the old chicken pen with nice high walls on that fence. Um, the chickens won't be able to get uh, over it. And that was quite the undertaking, getting that moved. Um, heavy, and I didn't want to have to break it down to move it, since it wasn't going far. So, I basically had to drag it. I uh, got a hand truck under one side and dragged it across the yard. Uh, that was fun, to say the least. But it's done now, and I think I've got a nice space for my uh, garden plants. I just need... We've got such a, an issue with moles. Um, they destroyed almost an entire bed of hostas last year. I mean, just... I'd come home and you know, they looked a little thirsty. They looked a little droopy. I'd go over to water them and uh, notice that that's because there was no root left. Um, it was just leaves laying on the ground. Uh, so I have to be really careful and because we have uh, pretty stodgy clay type soil um, so plants don't tend to do very well, most plants don't tend, tend to do very well in that um, and I just don't have the funds to amend my entire backyard. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing is getting some plastic nursery pots and uh, planting stuff in there with uh, some clearance soil that I got last year. Um, and they'll do fine. Um, I've grown tomatoes in containers out here before and never had any issues, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Um, but I'll have somewhere to keep them. I do have some seeds and things on order. I know it seems a bit late, but uh, some of them are pretty quick growers, and some of it I'm not even worried about for this year. Um, I've been watching some videos uh, lately on a, another interest of mine, uh, which is herbalism, herbal medicine. Um, and I've got some seeds for stuff like that on order. And uh, if you guys are interested in herbal medicine, uh, wild crafting plants, things like that, let me know. Um, I can kind of go over some of it. I do have quite a bit of uh, wild weeds um, that grow in my area, as most of us do. Um, that can be used as medicine, safe, simple herbal medicine. And um, I don't even know if I've been in the shop this whole time. Um, but if you guys are interested in that, we'll, we'll take a look at some of that stuff. We can talk about identifying plants, if that's something you're interested in. Um, I'm not, uh, you know, like a, I don't know, flower child, hippie kind of person, but I know um, from personal use and experience that uh, herbs are great medicine um, can really provide a lot of relief for a lot of ailments uh, so just let me know if there's something you're interested in and we'll, we'll kind of chat about it um, I'm not going to keep you here for long just wanted to chat with you, just catch up, make sure everybody's still hanging out there. I hope you're not getting bored waiting for me. Um, please uh, comment down below. Let me know if you're interested in, in any of the herbal uh, medicine or even just plant identification, talking about plant families. That's something I'd, 
I really like to do and something you might find interesting. So let me know what you think. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Um, tell your friends. Uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I got some more watering to do and some things. So I'll talk to you later.